Hey everybody, Plant Man Neil here again. This week we're going to talk about a few of the plants that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. And Christy, if you'll show people down there, we have the verbena, different types. These are the annual verbena. They don't come back every year, but this year, obviously, they didn't ever die. They were fine. They do just fine. Anyway, come over here. We've got the salvia. These are some of the plants that just, you can't, they just can't help it. It's like uh, an addiction to these hummingbirds and the, and the uh, butterflies. They love them. You get them all over the, all over the place. And I've got a bunch of these at my own house. My yard is full of them, full of the butterflies and hummingbirds. I don't even have a humming, hummingbird feeder out. They just like all the flowers. But the salvias, the, uh, aren't these pretty though? The little, and we have the, the, some of the heliotrope. And look over here, we have the pinces. There's all this color. Number one, it feeds the hummingbirds and the uh, butterflies. But number two, it looks good. Lots of color. Remember, I like color. Anyway. Take all these things out, we have evergreen daisies, the yellow shrub daisy. They do awesome. They get about three feet tall, just get really full. But the big thing, they don't lose their leaves in the winter. They do really well. They're very easy and it adds a lot of color. So even if you have just one of these, that's fine. It's going to get, like I said, about three feet. And it's probably going to get about two and a half feet wide. So it gives you lots of color and ready to go. Some of the older things is the Mexican heather. That does really, really well. Um, they attract the little bees, of course, too, which we all need because that's what pollinates everything. So take those things out. Let's go over here a little bit further. You have the old uh, periwinkles. Some people mistake this for the vinca. Well, it's the same thing. Vinca and the periwinkle, that's the same kind of plant. But aren't they pretty, though? And guess what? They're going to take the drought. They're going to take, once they get established, they're tough. And they usually come back every year, so you got plenty of uh, color all year round just about. Anyway, come out here and check these things out this weekend. We have the color like you wouldn't believe. It's awesome. I love color. So come out this weekend, check it out. Anyway, Plant Man Neil, we're gone.